That picture is going to follow me for the rest of my life. Um, and it's my butt and my finger. <laughs> but um, if that's what this nation needs, then I I'm happy to be that person. Original pool report from David Smith, White House Town Pool Report. Motorcade departed Trump National 312, passing two pedestrians, one of whom gave a thumbs down sign. Then it overtook a female cyclist wearing a white top, cycling helmet, who responded by giving the middle finger. I'm a single mom living in Sterling, Virginia. I've always been cognizant of the politics that's been going on in our country. I started to pay a lot more attention when I realized that Donald Trump was actually gonna be the nominee. And then after he was elected, I started doing what a lot of people do, and that's like, I'm posting on social media. This is terrible, look what he did now. I was in recovery from running the Marine Corps Marathon the weekend before. So around three o'clock, I finally hopped on my bike and I said, just go for a 30 minute bike ride. So when I was riding my bike and the black car started going by, I kind of did this double take like, oh yeah, he's golfing again. And I didn't think too much about it. And it was a natural reaction. And the cyclist caught up, still offering the middle finger before turning off in a different direction. There's a light there on Lowe's Island Boulevard and the motorcade stopped. So I got to pass him again and I flipped him off again. When I got home, we have a family group text. I said, hey guys, I just got to go past Donald Trump on my bike and I flipped him off. And of course my kids are like, oh mom, you know. <laughs> um, but I didn't really know that this had gone viral till the next morning. My friend who's the runner said, well, I know who it is, but I'm not gonna say who it is and texted me. She's like, I'm so proud of you. Look at this picture. And I was like, what? And it was like 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. I thought it was funny, so I put it on my cover photo for Twitter and my cover photo for Facebook. And then a couple reporters had started to call me and ask me for an interview. And I was still undecided. So Monday, I went into HR and I said, have you seen this picture? No, that's me. And HR said, well, you're allowed to ride your bike and just don't talk to media on company time. I thought, okay, great. <laughs> so this was before I was identified. And this is the original, this is Petula's story on November 6th. Oh, and this is the guy that said those nasty things. I don't know if you can read it. So I was fired really before I had even gone to the media. And I remember there was a guy at Acoma who in August called somebody a f***ing lizard asshole in a Black Lives Matter feed. And he had Acoma everywhere, identifying himself as Acoma all over his social media, his Facebook page. And he got in a little bit of trouble in August, but he still had his job. You should be allowed to express your opinions even if you do work for a government contractor and then especially if you work for the government. I think that, you know, if we don't have the freedom to examine the folks that are governing us, then we lose our democracy. The freedom of speech is there for a reason. He should see resistance every time he comes into my neighborhood. You know, not just the flip. Okay, so... Checking to see if he's coming to Lowe's Island. It's 11 o'clock, he's usually here by now. We watch the White House press pool Twitter, and when we see that he's rolling from the White House here, we start, I call them my pop-up protest. That's my first one. This is the one I made the other day. And the guy who does the big Trump baby balloons donated like 30 Trump baby balloons to us. A lot of us just keep our signs in our cars. Somebody um, left this with me so that we could use it. Our protests have gotten bigger and bigger. It started out with about eight people, and then we had a dozen people, and last time we had almost 25. We're a blue county. So why do we have a 6-3 Republican majority on the Board of Supervisors? To me, that doesn't speak to our values. I decided to run for office because I feel like I can affect change 
on a broader scope and more effectively if I'm sitting on the Board of Supervisors. Protesting at Trump National will continue. I think there may be some constituents in my district that aren't happy with the fact that I'm protesting at the golf course, but I don't think we can stop showing resistance.